Hi. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm just great. How is it upstairs? <laughs> it is probably a lot like it is downstairs. <laughs> <laughs> it's extremely temperate and I'm and I'm comfortable to be home. And who's on your lap? This is Colby. Hi, Colby. Our adorable family dog. <laughs> oh, I'm Thank Colby. you. Oh, he's down there. Okay. okay. All right. Well, I have the pleasure of knowing you personally, but um, just for our viewers, may I ask um, for you to introduce yourself? Absolutely. Good morning. My name is Jackie Myers Smith. I'm Ariel's mom. I'm also an artist and holistic healer. I live in Western Connecticut. Ariel asked me to do this lovely interview today about <laughs> our challenging times. Yes. So thank you for taking the time. So can I ask, um, during this time, could you talk a little bit about the mission and campaign that you chose to be a part of? Absolutely. I chose to support my friend Nat, who's a local artist here in Connecticut living in Stanford. Uh, he created uh, this campaign, hashtag, put art in your yard. Um, it's a bleak time, uh, not only socially that we're all apart, but also um, right before spring starts, we're all waiting for color. And it dawned on him that to hang his beautiful, colorful, abstract art in the yard might uh, spark someone's interest as they walked or drove by. Um, and it did. <laughs> and he loved it. And he kept doing it. He's an extremely prolific artist. His art is um, lovely. He has a very unique way of uh, design, uh, his design concepts. Uh, you could read about about him on his many websites, Nat Conacher. So um, I started to feel excited as soon as I saw that News 12, our local news channel, covered him. And he was trying to inspire other artists to do the same. We live on a busy road. Even though my art's very different, I couldn't just hang it on a clothesline and let it flap in the breeze like Nat did. So what did you do? <laughs> so I have a very large uh, Ganesha, um, assembly art piece. Um, it's about 42 by 60. <laughs> we strapped it to trees out front. Um, and then I put out some folding tables with a, um, with tablecloths and put my sculptures on there. And I think these times cause for us to be vulnerable and, um, and expose what matters to us and, and learn to appreciate each other. Absolutely. Um, and earlier you did mention that the giant painting that you, you strapped to the tree was of Ganesh. Um, just for our listeners that may not know what Ganesh is, um, could you kind of speak to the meaning of that piece? Sure. Um, I love Ganesh. Um, <laughs> <laughs> He's one of my favorite um, Vedic or Hindu gods. He's the elephant god. He's also known as uh, Ganapate. He is the god that goes beyond all obstacles. So you thought that that was kind of an important message to share? Sure, with yes. If you, if you dive deep into the philosophy of Ganesh, you also get that he's full of wisdom, full of compassion, full of joy. He overrides materialism um, and he teaches many wonderful lessons to the people. Absolutely. So I think that that's um, a really great description as to how you were really helpful to the community in anyone who passed the house and could see your art strapped to the oak tree in the front yard. Um, <laughs> could look up kind of the meaning behind it and understand kind of the purpose behind why you wanted to share that message. So I think that's really powerful. Yeah. And I did post it on some local sites. I figured if anybody's interested in my art, and what I do, um, I could explain that I'm not um, Hindu or exactly Buddhist, or um, I don't strongly follow any religion, but the spiritual aspects of all religion 
do resonate with me. And um, I think, uh, you know, it, it's, we should all put our art out and, and tell, not only to show color and design and, you know, brighten a day um, or um, excite intrigue, but um, also, also to let people, you know, delve in and see why it's important um, to us artists to express ourselves in various ways. We all, have, we all have a, a ball of creativity somewhere inside us, whether it's a math teacher teaching math problems to um, an astronaut learning about space. This is all create, creativity on many levels, but an artist puts it right out there. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, whether it's writing, creating food, whatever. Absolutely. So, so it's about invoking creativity as well. Yes. And during these times, it's especially important to find, I mean, my social media is inundated with suggestions of ways that people are baking or finding other ways to express their creativity when they have more time on their hands or time to maybe do something that they haven't um, been able to find time for before we were all in quarantine. So maybe an aspect of this is um, like, I want to kind of let my viewers know how they can get involved. So maybe right. part of this is that they could start to paint or <laughs> maybe find time to put something up in their yard that they wouldn't have had the ability to before. What and do you share it because we're isolated and it's really important that we remember that we have a vast community out there. And sometimes we feel lonely when we're isolated, but it just takes us Second, I don't think that just browsing through Facebook or Instagram um, really fills that personal need that we all have to connect. So um, what is the hashtag that people need to be sharing and posting? Yeah. Hashtag put art in your yard. Um, and oh, and I also put out one of my block paintings that said gratitude. It's very sparkly. Yeah. Because even though it's scary and awful, this COVID-19, we still have to have gratitude every day for all the good things that we have in our lives, like you. Aww. It gives us hope. We have to stay in, you know, in an energy of hope. And, um, you know, it's, it's gratitude and, and love that fosters that hope. Yeah. And where there's hope, there's just a myriad of possibilities. Well, I really appreciate you shedding light on those possibilities and by sharing them with our street and community. So with that, um, I want to say thank you. And I hope that this gets shared with the viewers and inspires someone to put art in their yard as well. Great. I hope so. I hope a lot of people do it. It's cool. Absolutely. Love you. <laughs> Love you too. <laughs> Bye.